Hi, this is Thomas, and today I'm going to show you how we can install a hematology analyzer. Okay, so this is the hematology analyzer, and we have this hematology analyzer user manual, which can help us also. And we also have the reagents with us. Uh, the first one, the, the, the largest one, the big, biggest one is uh, the diluent. The second one is the, uh, the rinse, or we also call it cleaner. And the, the, the third one, the smallest one is uh, the lice. Okay? And this is the waste. This is for the waste. And, uh, and we also have this uh, mouse and the keyboard. Okay? So I'm going to explain how we can do this installation into about 10 steps. We got, we're going to begin with the first step. In the first step, we just uh, open the right side of this hematology analyzer, like this. Just press this two, and you can open it. And it looks like this. Okay, I do it again. You just press like this, and then let it open. Okay. And uh, here we have to cut this this one, uh, and uh, we also have to tear off this tape. Okay. So I'm going to cut this one. Huh? Yeah, so it is, uh, it is cut now, and I have to tear this off also, okay? Okay, this is the first step. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to close it again. So this was the first step, okay? And we go to the second. Uh, second step is uh, we have to connect the corresponding uh, ports, okay? So we have like two parts in it. The first part is the keyboard and the and the mouse port, okay? So I'm gonna show you where the keyboard is. Keyboard port is. So this is the keyboard port. This is the mouse port. So we just connect them, okay? First, I connect this mouse board, and then I connect this keyboard board. Okay. And the next part is we connect uh, the reagents uh, to their corresponding ports. So you can see, uh, you can see this is the diluent, right? The green one. The red one is lice, and uh, the blue one is rinse. And uh, this colorless one is the waste. So, so I'm gonna show here again. This is the waste, and this is the the poor, the the, uh, the pipe of the waste. The biggest one, okay. I connect it, and then I, as I said, the the largest among these three regions is the. The diluent, okay. Oh, sorry about that. And I connect with the diluent. It's a new one, so it looks a bit difficult. Okay, done. Uh -huh. And uh, this one is uh, the rings, okay? Rings. This one. Mm -hmm. Rings, okay. And the smallest one is the lights.
Okay. Okay, so we are done with this step. The, the keyboard and mouse and the regions and the list. Okay? Now let's go to the next step. The third step. Uh, the third step is all about here. Okay. So let's go on. The next step is uh, turning on. Okay, we have to boot the system. So let me connect uh, this power port to here. And I'm going to turn this on here. Okay. Let me turn on. So we can see. We can see here. Okay. Okay. So uh, as we turn on the system, it looks like this. Okay. It looks like this, and it is automatically cleaning. But uh, I'm going to do some more steps about it. So it has automatically started with uh, cleaning, and uh, we do this next step. Uh, we insert this printing paper. Okay? So this is the port for the printing paper. We press like this, and it, it opens. And uh, I'm going to show you how to insert it. We do like this. So it automatically pulls it in and uh, I'm going to do it again. Okay. So here you can see this, and you just pull it a little bit more, okay, a little bit more, and then you just do like this, okay, so this is it, and you can just uh, get this part up, okay, so it is inserted in, okay, okay, so next step is uh, we go to uh, we go to the cleaning. Uh, cleaning part. Okay, so let's go to the function part, and then let's go to service. Okay, function and the service. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're waiting until it cleans itself. Mm -hmm. Taking a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so after the cleaning is done. We go to the function again, and service again, and then we just uh, clean with this three uh, reagents, one by one. First by diluent, okay, so let's go back, right click, and then function and then setting and sorry service and then uh, prime cleaner okay what's on okay okay, sir. okay next step again right click and then function and then service and then Prime lies. Okay.
Mhm. Aber kannst du mal halt zu jeder Tänzerin. Mhm. Zu jeder Tänzerin. So after this, we're going to do some basic settings, okay? So we right click again. And then uh, we go to function again. And then we go to settings, okay? And we go to this department now, okay? So in this part, we can just add some departments like surgery, internal medicine, gyne, gyne ops, or pediatrics, infectious disease, or whatever, in emergency, whatever departments we have, okay? For example, I'm gonna do some three do like three uh, departments okay department let me let me type with my keyboard uh, let's say internal medicine okay abbreviation maybe uh, you can just write I N T M okay and okay I can add like one more like surgery surgery department probation S U R G done. I can add one more like pediatrics department and P E D done. Okay, just like that. Okay, and let's go back to uh, function again and service settings and then uh, departments uh, yeah and operator you can just go to operator okay operator we can uh, we can add operator like my name is Thomas I'm an operator now yeah operation maybe TM uh, you can choose departments okay uh okay uh and physician also you can go back to uh function and then uh, settings and then uh department department is done uh again uh settings and the uh, operator okay we can go to physician also this part and uh, we add something like dr. dr. Keshap let's say DRK and uh, physician yeah we can you can use this physician okay departments maybe this doctor is from surgery let's suppose done okay and if you want to add more just click add button and uh, physician right for example dr uh, deal Bushan. abbreviation maybe dv department let's say pediatrics just like that okay and if you want to add some more operator you can click here and then add and the operator and uh, maybe like uh, Manoj and J right and if you want to add some more send by I mean who it is who the patient is sent by uh, for example uh, if a patient is sent by uh, a person let's say uh, Shanti right SG uh, and send by yeah just like this you can just go on adding these things okay I think it's very simple okay and after that I'm gonna show you next step and which is uh, you know loading sample okay loading sample so before we load a real sample uh, we can uh, first test with uh, test with uh, a blank sample blank sample means it has no sample okay let me show you this let me show you this this part you know 
This part is the you know, press button after we load some sample here, which I'm going to show you later. But we're not loading any sample, so it's like a blank sample. It's simply the air, right? The air. So I'm going to press this one, okay? And it, it means, it actually means a blank sample, okay? Or you could also uh, use water. Yeah, okay. Okay, so the air, okay, and let's see the result. Mm -hmm. So this this takes about uh, takes about a minute or so, so or maybe less. So now it is processing the sample. So it is analyzing. Okay, so you can see this result now, okay? Okay, so it is the, the result for the air, right? So air does not have WBC, does not have lymphocytes, does not have mid cells, granulocytes, anything, right? Uh, hematocrit, everything has to be zero, right? It has nothing. So the results are also nil, it's zero. It means it is correct. It is correct, okay? Now, now we're gonna go to the next step. We are going to, I'm gonna show you how we can input uh, the information about a patient, okay? So let's, uh, you can see this uh, screen, right? You can just click info, that one information, information, and then uh, the name of the patient. If the patient's name is Kesha, oh, okay. and blood group, blood group may be AB, okay, the sex is male, venous blood, and Kesha is 30 years old. And department, uh, he is from uh, pediatrics. Uh, sorry, not pediatrics. 30 years old cannot be pediatrics, right? Let's say surgery. Limits. Limits. It's okay. Auto. Sent by. Sent by. We can add this information later. Case history. Suppose he has fever. Fever, okay. An operator, it is Manoj, let's say. Bed number, let's suppose 450. Physicians, it is seen by physician Dilbushan. An ID number, let's let's say his ID number is 0879660101, okay? Now I'm going to input this. Let's say okay. Now I've got the sample of this patient, okay, of this patient, and sample I have to rinse it a little bit. I have to rinse it. Okay, take a little bit time to rinse it. Mm -hmm. It has the blood and uh, the EDTA and all the stuffs. The lab people know better. Okay, I'm going to open this. And uh, look at this part carefully. Okay, this is a needle. You just insert this one into the needle, okay? And then you just press this blue, this one, okay, blue, this one. Press it. And it is going to automatically take the sample. And it is processing. And it will analyze. Let's wait for a minute. So it has started.
analyzing the sample. It generally takes about a minute, okay? A minute or a minute and a half. Okay, so we have got the result of this patient called Kesha Kua, okay? So you can see the information about this patient and his result. WBC is quite high, 22.4 times 10 to the power 9 uh, cells per liter, right? Lymphocytes is also very high. So you can see this result, okay? So let's print this result now. So you just uh, mm -hmm. add the print button. Mm -hmm. And just do like this. And you can see this result. Uh, the printer result of this patient. Three graphs and many, many uh, parameters. Okay? And you have all this information which we input. Okay? Now I'm going to show you one more thing. Like, if I wanna, if I wanna just, you know, load the sample, and then feel the the information about the patient later, we can do that as well. We can do that as well. Okay. So for example, let's load this uh, sample. Let's load this sample. Shake it a little bit. Shake it a little bit. And uh, we. Load the sample again. It automatically takes it. And we wait for the result as before. So we are analyzing the sample again. Okay, we have this uh, we have this result, but uh, just see carefully. Uh, we do not have the information about the patient, right? No name, no sex, no age. Uh, so we are going to show you. I'm going to show you how we can do this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to the right click it. And then uh, we go to the func function, and then we go to the review, this one, okay? And you can see this is the result we just took it, right? We took it at uh, this time, right? Right click it, you right click it, and then uh, uh, detail, okay? And then here you can uh, add the uh, information about this patient. Let's say the name of the patient is Keshav and uh, blood type is let's say A, sex is let's say male and age let's say 20, uh, 29. Okay. Sent by let's say uh, sent by DR somebody else limits general it's okay department let's say uh, internal medicine case history it's again let's say fever operator yeah and bed number let's say one two three and physician you can add dr keshav and maybe you can just change a little bit 
Okay, so you, you can just change like this, okay? And then you, you can print it. Yeah. So, this is the result. Okay? So, the information about the patient, we can first input the information and then. Uh, and then uh, load the sample and get the result where we can load the sample and get the result and then we can add the information about the patient both are okay both ways are okay so thank you thank you for your patience uh, the video has been a bit long and I hope to see you again in the next video about other analyzers thank you